to myself for you the same way if you're different Look me in my eyes, don't tell no lies to keep your distance I got a lot to say, so just listen They would you hold it down if it came to it Put your life on the line for me, can't you do it Just tell you tell the truth, but would you lie for me You told me you lie What's up guys, it's Nana And Sully, he say hi <laughs> Hi <laughs> Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what's inside Solar's diaper bag. Now, first, look at this diaper bag. I really, really like it. I'll get into details in this. I just want to make sure that you guys are subscribed. So if you are not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button right freaking now. Right now. I'll wait. We're going to wait. Did you do it? Did you do it? Okay, thank you. Also, make sure you guys leave a big thumbs up. It takes one second. And make sure you guys comment. Let us know what other videos you would like to see from us. So if you're new, welcome to the family. Solar is six months right now, but he will be seven months in five days. So just stay tuned for all the updates on Solar. The wheels aren't gonna move, so don't be worried. Hi, are you gonna listen to Mama talk the whole video? Yes. I just love him. He's so full of energy. Okay, so first things first. I actually really do not recommend this diaper bag at all. This is like the standard diaper bag. I recommend the backpack diaper bags. If you can get it, if you can afford it, that's what I recommend you guys to get because you barely can fit stuff in this. And I didn't know that this was like a magnet. It's a magnet diaper bag. So it's like no straps or anything to make sure nothing falls out. And most likely if the diaper bag tips over, things are gonna fall. So I do not recommend this diaper bag at all. I literally only got it because there was a planet on it. I'm like, oh, solar planet, great, let's get <laughs> but don't get this kind of diaper bag now this is in his diaper bag not for an overnight stay he never stays anywhere overnight but just if um he's going over someone's house for a little while which he never does but <laughs> or we're going to the store or we're going out just something quick nothing overnight is in here we have our wipes and these are just the Pampers wipes, uh, number one pediatrician recommended brand. So, I don't know, they're just wipes. <laughs> you guys though, you need a pack of wipes. So, make sure you have those in the diaper bag. I'm gonna just dispose of everything on the floor. <laughs> I'll pick it all up in a second. Number two, make sure you have some Pampers, and not just one. You need about five to eight, depending on how long you're gonna be gone you'll need about five to eight diapers because you just never know. You never know when they're gonna poop or have an accident or pee, just constantly ping, 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 ping. You just never know. So make sure you have at least five to eight depending on how long you're gonna be gone. And yeah, just put those in there. I always make sure that I pack his sippy cup. He does not like bottles. I breastfeed as most of you guys know. So he does not like bottles, but he will drink out of the sippy cup. Sometimes I put a little like Gerber juice in here or otherwise I'll just put water because it has been hot lately. So he does drink a lot of water. So next we have a teething ring. If your baby is teething, make sure you have one of these because it is going to be your best friend. Well, your baby's best friend. <laughs> so next, I do have a little baby mirror. My baby has really gotten into looking at himself. Like, he really likes looking at himself and kissing the mirror. He kisses the mirror all day long at the house. So we have a little baby mirror to help him. Sometimes I actually put this above his car seat so that I can hang. Otherwise, I just give it to him in his car seat and he plays with it. A toy that actually makes noise and lights up. This is a life saver. When I say life saver, I mean life saver. I don't know what I would do without this. Fuller hates the car seat. He hates the car seat. I don't know why. I thought babies like cars, but he does not like riding in the car at all. So I use this and it makes noise. I'll put it on for just a second. I always make sure I have this with me and it looks like a pacifier but it is not it actually has holes in the tip of it and you can put fruit in here or 
frozen juice or whatever you want to put in there water just anything so that your baby can suck on it while out and about so i make sure i put his little stuffed giraffe in there every baby has a stuffed animal that they really really like and his just so happens to be his little giraffe -y. next even though i said he does not like pacifiers i still pack a pacifier so this is the clip on one only reason why I really pack it is because he plays with it. He likes just chewing on things because he's teething. So so next, I make sure I have a rattle. We go tons of places and the kids need to be entertained. They have to be entertained. If they're not entertained, they're angry. So rattle it up. Rattle it up. He throws it. He loves it. He likes it. <laughs> But I do have other toys because, like I said, he does like lots of things. So I just put whatever rattles in there that I can find during the time. I make sure he has about three or four different toys in there so that he does not get bored and he's calm in the car seat or wherever we're at. Just whatever bib is clean at the time, I make sure that I keep a bib inside of there so that he can eat with no problem without making a mess getting on his clothes or um something he slobs a lot so make sure i have an extra bib in there just in case he's like over slobbering and his bib that he already has on gets him really really wet so make sure you have an extra bib inside the diaper bag for a baby and that brings me to my next thing i have food usually i have bananas in here because bananas is his favorite but right now we have sweet potatoes um it's just food. Um, we're on around and go. You don't know when he's get when he's gonna get hungry. I try to make sure I feed him at least three times a day some baby food or whatever food. I just try to feed him at least three times a day because that's how we eat. Even with me breastfeeding. So just make sure you have a spoon because nine times out of ten the restaurants or someone's house has big spoons and you want your baby to have the spoon that they can eat out of. So pack a spoon. I always keep some aqua for Ugh, the lighting is terrible. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's baby aquaphor. I make sure I keep that in his bag because this is for um, dry chapter irritated skins. And then brings me to my next thing. I have diaper cream. I actually have never. This is the Bound Reax butt paste. I've actually never used it because he has not had a diaper rash at all he literally can wear any diaper and be perfectly fine but i do have this in there just in case it does happen so next on the list i do have a brush and a comb just because why not i keep this in the diaper bag but this is actually um numbing gel it is for his gums it is mommy's bliss Soothing massage gel daytime. It's the daytime one because most time, most of the time when we're out, we're, it's during the daytime. But they do have a nighttime one as well. Next thing in the diaper bag is this thermometer on the go. So it's just really fast. You, this is the one that you put under the armpit or in the buttocks. Uh, I've I hate to do this, but oh, that reminds me. Keep a pack of petroleum jelly. I actually don't have any in there, but I'll show you guys a little pack that I do have. So this is a lubricant jelly pack that um, you can use for if you need to use your thermometer in the butt area, then you'll have this because you do need something. Like if it's not Vaseline, you need something. You can't just stick it in there. So next, we do have a pair of socks. <laughs> Just baby socks. Um, baby's toes sometimes get cold, so I make sure. Are you okay? I make sure I have a pair of socks in there for a big boy. This is pretty much self-explanatory. Get the boogers out. It's a travel size one. Um, self-explanatory. This is for his nails, also travel size. It's Safety First brand, and it's just to clip his nails. Breast milk really has my baby's nails growing super fast, super duper fast. So I keep this in there just in case he's like scratching a lot. 
this right here is a safety first card. It's actually an emergency card. So if anything was to happen with the diaper bag or with the baby, God forbid, but there's emergency contact information, important phone numbers and other important information like allergies and father's name, mother's name, address, all that kind of stuff. Just keep this in the diaper bag because you never know. A few wet wipes. These are disinfectant alcohol wipes because if I am out and about, say we're at the store, um, he likes to put his mouth on everything. So if he is in the car and they don't have disinfectant wipes, I have some with me just in case I need to wipe off the seating. An extra outfit because like I said, you never know with babies. You always need extra clothes. He might throw up, have a blowout. <laughs> Just anything could happen. So make sure you have an extra outfit, slob all over like his shirt. He don't want to be wet and all types of stuff. So just make sure you have an extra outfit. And these are the last two items that I keep in baby boy's diaper bag. This is wash and shampoo and then moisturizing lotion. It is the CeraVe baby brand. Um, I don't really use this brand that much. I believe they actually gave this to me at the hospital and I've just never used it because it's been in the diaper bag for so long. I haven't had to wash or shampoo him on the go, but in case you need to just have a little travel size in there and then also the lotion i think i might have used it once but it's just lotion you know so guys so sorry but i kind of forgot two things as i was cleaning up i'm like oh man so i do actually this book is like in the back area but this book is back there just to keep him entertained and to look at like different shapes play with it, do whatever with the book, but I do have it in there. So I did want to mention that this book was in there as well. And then last but not least, finally, <laughs> I have this, um, it came with the diaper bag, but it's a changing pad. Nine times out of 10, you won't have anywhere to change your baby with like, if you're outside, you don't want to land on the ground. If you're at a restaurant, sometimes they don't have like the things to lay down. So you want to have this with you, but it's just a changing pad. So make sure you guys get a diaper bag that actually comes with one or put one in there if you can't afford it. So yeah, that brings me to the end of the video. I am so sorry that the video turned out to be a little bit longer than we were planning on being. But these are the essentials that you do need for your baby. So just make sure that you guys have a few of these things, if not all. He's biting me. <laughs> If not all, and just leave a big thumbs up on this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to our channel so you can know every single time we post. And we'll get you guys in the next video.